when it comes to the research, the most prominent oils that really are standing out more and more are the oils that are high in D-limonene. D-limonene is a fantastic cancer-fighting chemical that is first in wild orange or sweet orange. It's in orange essential oil. Like up to 95% of orange oil has D-limonene, depending on the species and the brand that you buy, all depends. And all the oils, all the citrus oils have a good quality of D-limonene. There are other essential oils. I'm sure you've heard this all the time, frankincense. Um, frankincense is kind of controversial in the research world, um, but I'm telling you, I just interviewed a friend of ours who used frankincense and myrrh and lemongrass, and she's literally curing herself of um, stage for non-small cell lung cancer and her tumor on the side, like the size of a golf ball is just shrunk. They can't find the cancer in the lungs anymore. It's not in the brain anymore. She could see again, she could walk again. Her life, she was left to die literally four months ago because her platelets were so low and her blood counts and her doctor's like, we can't give you any more chemo, we're done. And basically told her husband, you know, you gotta prepare, do whatever you could do. And if you want to check it out, folks, go to my website, DrErigZ.com. It's on my Biblical Health Radio podcast, Powerful Story. But frankincense, I've heard, I'm sure you've heard a lot about. But here's a fun thing about frankincense. Research has shown, I say fun because it's a great story because frankincense, gold and myrrh and the magi and Jesus and birth. Myrrh has actually been shown to be more effective at killing cancer than frankincense. And so it's interesting because frankincense is the popular one. Yeah. You don't hear as much about myrrh. But there are a lot of oils. Other ones we could list really quickly are lemongrass, um, specifically breast cancer um, lines, which makes sense because uh, it's been traditional, a traditional woman's health herb, clary sage, very effective at breast cancer that we've seen in vitro. Black pepper is also good for in vitro. Clove is one of the most highest antioxidant rich essential oils, very good for cancer, very good for boosting the immune system. Um, virtually anything to help the immune system. This isn't, again, about targeting the cancer cell, which it does. Actually, it can. It literally can target the cancer. Like our friends who are applying, you know, diluted frankincense, myrrh, and lemongrass over their tumor. But if it could help the body boost the immune system, add antioxidant power, then that in and of itself can help the body fight cancer. 